so barrel or not, of course, always brought to you by Buell, but use Buell Grit 50 for that wetsuit, 50% 50. off. Um, coming out of all of our travel this last week, barrel or not, drinking in the airport, regardless of time of day. So let's say early morning. This so is the easiest one ever. <laughs> so big this barrel. Is a deep, huge spit barrel. The the only thing to do in the airport, in fact, is drink. If you have like that is that's what airports are for. And it's a beautiful airports, especially. Let's be honest about travel these days. Did you have a seamless travel experience, David Lee Scales? No way. I was traveling with a kid, dude. He cried for 90 minutes on well, the plane. Not just that, but like were oh, your planes all got on time? De- no, flight got delayed. Of course, the like yeah. there's no such thing as a seamless travel experience anymore. You are guaranteed a massive delay, a cancellation, a minor delay, your uh, lost bag, you're guaranteed something. Uh, the only good thing about traveling anymore is that t- once you step foot in the airport, time officially stops and you can drink that's, anytime you want. That's, that's the only the good thing about away. travel. Yeah. That's the PSA that we need to deliver is that you're in a time warp in the airport and all rules are out the window. I had a, yeah. uh, I think it would have been 4.30 a.m. to my body, frosty cold Heineken in uh, Sao Paulo airport. I drank a beer had, on, go ahead. No, uh, I've, I've been at Long Beach airport, which is like near to my house, a 7 a.m. flight and been sipping on a uh, which is like a not a busy airport, you know, those you feel a little weird. <laughs> um, okay. And but yeah, I, I hit a beer. You got normalize, it. normalize 7 a.m. drinking in airports. Long, Long Beach Airport is the greatest airport on the planet and has so they've invited local mom and pop restaurants that are, mm-hmm. you know, well known in Long Beach into the airport to have a little pop up version there. And it's incredible. That's yeah, San Diego. It feels like too, the 70s. Yeah. I want to wear a suit when I'm walking through there. It's Good got point. that like travel has a, has a point and it has pride attached to it. Um, okay. Barrel or not number two, using punctuation in text messages. Oh, so God. barrel. So barrel. Like I, I use wrong punctuation, but you got to use punctuation. <laughs> What'd you say, Travis? I was, I, last night, I think I sent a text to someone and I had a period at the end. And I, I think I asked my wife, am I, I had a, the crisis of like, what am I saying with this period? Like I've never debated the period. Simple statement. It looked weird without it though. But it also, if if you read it, it could be too stern. Um, This is a tough one for me, but I went punctuation. So as an adult, as an adult, as an adult, you have to, my, uh, I, yeah, I had to text one of my daughter's friends or something on her phone. She was going to be busy. And I said, Hey, I'm just going to, I'll tell them you're busy or whatever. Uh, Mm -hmm. And she said, okay, but don't, what did she say? She said, don't text flat or something. And I was like, what does that mean? Whoa. It was basically don't, you know, use the, use the BRB, whatever. Use the code. Of, yeah. Use, use the, the code. code. Uh, Interesting. But I'm an adult male. So I text flat. That's what I'm supposed to do. I'm not supposed to BRB. I'm supposed to, I'll be right back period. Yeah. I think this is a real indicator of our age. Cause I agree with you full punctuation because I receive a text message from my younger brother and I have to invest three times as much effort as he put into writing the text just to decipher the meaning of the text because he did not include punctuation. Yep. And then I get pissed at him. And out of spite, even if I think I know what he means, out of spite, I reply back asking what he means, forcing yep. him to then participate 50-50. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I will go through the effort of I'll smash in a text and then realize I misspelled something or missed a punctuation take my fat finger, get the cursor, move it to the part that I want, delete, delete, add back and like take the effort because I want the recipient to be able to have a seamless reading experience. And I think all other humans should be the same way. I hear you. I, if, if, and when your autocorrect goes out of control, friends and I have a name for that. It's Naveen, the uh, tech worker over in the subcontinent somewhere who is actively reading texts and screwing up meaning by changing words and all naveen is a real jerk like no. ducking changing yeah. it to ducking duck yeah exactly yeah. yeah all right well final barrel and odd comes directly from donovan frankenrider's instagram post a week or two ago cutting off your jeans to surf it's the most uncomfortable thing ever uh, i've if tried that, it i have done it did you cut them off to surf uh were you, were you stuck like, without a suit somewhere i think i no i think i had like an era where i was just like the summer i was wearing shorts and i thought i would 
be Alex Nost or something and just yeah rolled from the car to the beach experience to the waves to back and like tried to not care yeah um I hear you. and I think I cared by the time my jeans never dried they're probably still wet and yeah. smell like <laughs> mildew or something it's not functional for surfing it's uncomfortable I was watching Donovan do it and I'm like this is strictly a gimmick because he has to play the character of Donovan at this point exactly but you're you're in Southern California. He was in San Diego in a parking lot. There are board shorts available for purchase within 100 yards of you, even if you forgot your own. You can and, go buy them right now. And, and, and are you kidding? Donovan didn't. Did, Donovan did not forget. You don't forget no. board shorts. Like no. I understand. I was whatever in Palm Springs, I do believe, and had had forgotten a bathing suit, trunks, and so and didn't want to go buy a full pop one. So went to a thrift shop, and there just happened to be a pair of cut off cords corduroys and they were like four dollars so i bought those thinking who cares i don't care but that was like not a style move that was a those cost four dollars and yeah. i don't want to buy a pair of trunks because i have them at home i just forgot them donovan being and also playing into your archetype is silly like if yeah if rob machado was everywhere forever throwing peace signs and eating acai and being mellow man that would be lame too. You don't play, you just be yourself. You don't play into your character that has been yeah. crafted. Yeah. I'm going yeah. full no barrel on this one. It doesn't Donovan. serve any function at all. And by the way, it doesn't even look cool. Like it's not like it's a particularly great look. It just looks stupid. Stinking Did Donovan. he, he, he like found himself at the beach without the trunk, without anything. And he just wore it cut his jeans off that was the story on his the, in site. the instagram post is a video of him cutting off the jeans laughing at, with a friend like oh we're so wild like we were in this bind and here's the solution we're gonna go surfing okay. yeah so, just go, anything I mean, like that that happens in encinitas is it feels like a gimmick I, my like goodness. I, mean, I, I can't imagine maybe donovan does not wear underpants but just go surfing in your under go surfing in your boxers or your that would be, briefs that would be a headline newsworthy headline <laughs> Um, couldn't have been right. that good anyway no 